Hello, my soccer universe. Oh, I was so ready to wear France today. Nope, they didn't do well. And I decided to go with uh, Iceland. Although their win, as we will see, was it's probably to no avail. But I honestly, of all the teams that won yesterday, either I don't have it or there's a reason I cannot. Just cannot. Let's talk about the games yesterday. Uh, that we had on the plate. We'll start off with Kosovo Montenegro. I did not watch that one. Yeah, what did we watch? What did I watch yesterday? Actually I had France Turkey on the big screen. Then of course since the my wife's from Bulgaria we started with Bulgaria England but then uh, we had to quickly switch to uh, Ukraine Portugal because it got a little bit too depressing there. Yeah Kosovo gets another win 2-0 against Montenegro. Uh, they have a big game coming up against the Czech Republic and if they win that one uh, they might not even need their playoff spot to qualify. I still would give it to the Czech Republic but yeah uh, that's a biggie and then yeah Bulgaria England was depressing on many many fronts. First of all the stadium not being full that to me was uh, depressing. Then uh, the Bulgarian defense Rashford in the seventh, I mean, he never can be that alone and slam it that way into the net. Uh, when Barkley made it 2 0 in the, in the 20th, as I said, uh, we switched over. So we missed the biggest talking point, which is also depressing the monkey chance and that the game being interrupted and on the verge of being abandoned. I think I don't want to say much more except that it's I'm a not surprised which is probably the sadder part and yeah it should not just should not happen but the whole issue I think is a whole a lot deeper than that Barkley gets a third Sterling in the stoppage time which was of course extended gets a fourth at the half and then England is just toying with it can go back uh, few steps but still Sterling and 69th and Kane in the 85th, 85th. Uh, add to more for a 6-0 win in Sofia and I gotta say I think I have cannot remember Bulgaria being beaten that heavily especially at home. Uh, Bulgaria just doesn't look good I'm sorry to say. In the table now England is a win away and I think they play Montenegro at home and Kosovo away uh, should they win the Montenegro, England is uh, through. They are more or less safe, I would say. Although, you know, uh, if you lose at Kosovo, you don't get a result in Montenegro. But, you know, I don't want to go there. As I said, uh, Czech Republic Kosovo will get the other spot in Montenegro and Bulgaria uh, kind of uh, dueling themselves who is worse off. Uh, Serbia didn't see the highlights there, but they get a 2-1 win in Lithuania. Uh, which basically was a must win for them if they want to stay in contention. Um, they had a 2 0 lead, Mitrovic scoring both goals uh, right after uh, the halftime, and then Kozlowskas just pulls one back. But Serbia is on the way, but the big game, and I actually missed the first goal between Ukraine and Portugal. Uh, I knew that this is the big game this evening. I just thought that the other two games, the France Director game, seemed a little bit. I thought that the, uh, the French will be out for blood. But to be honest, I always, I always kind of knew that Ukraine proper is a big one. I was also uh, disappointed by, by the first result. But Yaremchuk gets already an early goal. Uh, I have to say the Portuguese defense didn't look all the uh, well there. The goalkeeper just bounces and it falls uh, to. Jaremczuk who can slot at home from a short distance. Um, then Jarmolenko after I um, assist by Mikolenko uh, just across the field ahead of the Portuguese defense who absolutely have no idea that Jarmolenko is coming there. He can slot it home to make it 2-0 and uh, I told my wife I mean scoring two against Portugal that's actually quite some feat. Overall, given uh, how defensively sound they usually are, yesterday nothing like that. Then Portugal woke up. They had chances. Uh, Ronaldo, I remember free kick in the second half by Ronaldo. That Piatov, who I think is the one point where it's uh, the, where 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 it's maybe a little bit more shaky. Um, 
bounce is it, but you know, it's a Ronaldo free free because it has a lot of uh, bounce, uh, you know, swerve in there. Um, then they get a penalty because Stepanenko puts his arm that high and it bounces to him, and he's even sent off with a second yellow for that. Yeah, so be it. Uh, and Ronaldo steps up and converts the penalty, which is now his 700th goal, so he gets this big milestone. However, he does not get this in the winning effort. I think he will not celebrate too much on that. Um, the Danilo hits in stoppage time the uh, bar and it bounces back. So uh, Portugal came close, but I always had the feeling that Ukraine is hanging on and was kind of dangerous on the counter as well. Although they didn't have too many chances, but they, uh, you know, even with ten men, they were not that uh, that much without chances. So a uh, huge, huge credit to Ukraine for beating Portugal and qualifying for other Euros. I mean, Andriy Shevchenko has done an outstanding job and. I know what this means. This means I need to get a Ukraine jersey because uh, A, I always liked Ukraine and B, they really are becoming a quite good team with not that great players. Uh, let's see at the Euros, but Ukraine, congratulations. You're really, really doing well. You have qualification secured. Uh, 19 points now. Portugal cannot catch you. Serbia cannot catch you. Portugal is... Um, one point ahead of Serbia, um, given that they only have to, they don't play each other anymore, so the games against Luxembourg and Serbia has to play in Ukraine. Um, uh, at, uh, at home to Ukraine, I think Portugal will make that one. And then France-Turkey, uh, the big game. The winner is qualified. Well, we have no winner here. Uh, France dominated the first half, Ukraine, uh, the Turks only being on the back foot, to be honest. Uh, there was really not much uh, shown from them. Uh, I think Sissoko had two chances to put it into the net. Uh, one, I think he has to be a little bit calm. I think it was a shot by Griezmann. Uh, the goalkeeper saves it. It falls to Sissoko. And with a little bit more uh, composure, he can make it there. The second one, okay can happen. Uh, Griezmann himself uh, was doing well, but I always had the feeling that, you know, a year, year ago when France won it, we thought, wow, they're so young and so talented. And if you look at how deep the squad is, but if you don't have an Mbappé and if you don't have a, a Pogba, France looks a little bit toothless, to be honest. The second half, a lot, a lot more open. Cialanoglu came on. Uh, believe it or not, he is still he was not even playing for, for Turkey. Well, he's also with um, uh, Milan, not all the, all the group. But suddenly the game opened up, and especially between the 55th and the 65th, there were chances on both sides. The biggest one fell to Yilmaz after an assist uh, by Jalanoglu, who beautiful, I mean, was a cross from uh, the left side in midfield out to Jalanoglu at the edge of the box, who just bounces it across to. Um, Ilmas, who probably should have scored there, um, was a beautiful attack. Uh, but also uh, the French had their chances, uh, but couldn't put it in. And uh, it was then Deschamps brought on uh, Giroud, who should have gotten a penalty, but from the ensuing corner, heads it home, makes it 1-0 in the 76th, I think. Um, and at that moment, you really think, yeah, that's it. France finally found, found a breakthrough because Turkey... Uh, although much more dangerous in the second half, at that moment they were about to wither again. But nope. A free kick and Ihan heads it in. And I have to say, I feel the goalkeeper needs to have the one. That is a header next to the post, low down. I'm sorry. Uh, the goalkeeper needs to have that one. Uh, that is to me an entirely avoidable goal. But so it ends 1-1 one, one, uh, draw that I don't know if it helps or doesn't help uh, either one, but uh, it doesn't secure qualification, but I, maybe in the end it will probably help more than it will hinder. Uh, 
it definitely was not the result pro that Iceland wanted to have. I think Iceland was hoping that um, a French win will occur so they can go to Turkey and draw levels. So it becomes a lot more complicated for Iceland now. I'm still wearing this beautiful jersey. Iceland wins 2-0 against Andorra. Not very exciting results, to be honest. And Moldova loses at home 4-0 to Albania, but Albania is out of the running with this draw. So as I said, the result probably between Turkey and France helps both. Well, that was that from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please drop a comment below if you have any more info that you want to give me on that one. Um, and yes, there was not only the provocation, Sophia, the Turkish players again did the salute and we're having a big discussion coming in Germany because of course Gindwan and some others in Brejan liked that. Also something that I probably shouldn't get into this video. It's I don't understand either. either. No, I actually understand one side, the other side is just, yeah, whatever. The less I say, the better. Um, I want to keep it as little politically on this channel as possible. Anyway, drop comments below if you want to um, uh, tell me some more about the games. Yes, yesterday, again, congratulations to Ukraine for your uh, qual qualifying. I'm really eyeing now Ukraine jersey, just have to look which one. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.